65 yards below the surface of the earth and about a quarter of a mile from the pit bottom, working what is known as a four feet seam.
is the screen stippler house. The trams of coal, after leaving the pit top and the coal having been weighed, are now being unloaded. All the small coals below three inch mesh is taken out and is further cleaned by a special plant. The large coal above three inch mesh passes on to a traveling table or picking belt. Here, any stone or inferior coal is removed and the cleaned large coal is then loaded into railway wagons. the screen stippler house, we are now able to see the process of cleaning the large coal. The large coal is carried by the travelling table or picking belt and during its travel from the tippler end to the railway wagon loading end, all stone or foreign matter is removed. This picking belt is capable of dealing with nearly 150 tonnes per hour. The cleaning of the small coals, which you will notice have been removed, is and is being cleaned in a special plant. We are now viewing the special plant for cleaning the coal below three inch mesh. On the left is the raw coal elevator. The coal and shale is fed into the primary wash box. This box separates the coal and the shale by the upward pulsation of the water in the box. This pulsation is caused by these valves which you see on the opposite side allowing air to pulsate the water upwards and downwards. The bed of coal and shale is raised but the shale, being heavier than the coal, sinks to the bottom onto a perforated plate and the coal is carried forward by the flow of water. The shale, having sunk to the bottom, is elevated by a shale elevator to a storage bunker and is now ready to be taken away to the waste heap. The coal leaves the end of the primary box for the sizing screens. 